I am Dr. Kapil Kumar, Director and Head of Department of Cancer Surgery, that is a Surgical Oncology at Fortis Hospital, Shalimar Bagh. Uh, we have a comprehensive cancer center which comprises of cancer surgery, medical oncology and radiation oncology along with the diagnostic uh, services of uh, pathology, PET scan, radiology and other services we have. Today we will talk about uh, Whipple's operation. It is being uh, done in the cases of periamplary cancers, lower end of CBD tumors and uh, small sized pancreatic head tumors. Most of the time patient presents with uh, upper pain abdomen and uh, features of jaundice or they can be a features of fever, loss of weight, loss of appetite which can present for few weeks. We investigate these patients by doing the triple phase CT scan, blood tests like LFT and, where, and some markers like uh, CA19.9. We evaluate the patients for fitness for surgery and if these patients are not having metastatic disease, uh, like there are no uh, liver nodules and there are no peripancreatic nodes and uh, patient is fit, then we take these patients for Vapor's operation where we can do a laparoscopic or an open type of surgery where we remove the uh, part of the pancreas, pancreatic head and neck and also along with the second part of duodenum, part of the stomach lower end of the CBD and then anastomose these patients with the small intestine where anastomose is done to the uh, pancreatic part, uh, common hepatic duct and also the stomach. Patient is being fed by feeding agnostomy for 5 to 7 days and by the time the bowel anastomose is healed and patients can uh, have a normal bowel movement then we start the patient slowly on feeds and patient does recover in within 7 to 10 days. Uh, patient remains in ICU for uh, um, 1 to 2 days depending upon the condition and uh, this is a major operation which can last for around 6 hours and there can be some complications which are there in uh, each and every Whipple's operation and uh, which, we, which our team is uh, capable of taking care of both in ICU and post-operative period.